okie-dokie. We've got folks with flashers on, so we're gonna dip in and see if they need anything. <laughs> a little off-roading action here. They seem to be pretty well equipped. Yeah. Well, let me run over there and see if they need anything. So what kind of excitement are you dealing with here? Electric water pump. Oh, electric water pump. Glad I did now. Good plan. Alright, so this is gonna be freaking messy. Got a little forced induction on this this here Miata here situation. Baby turbo. Alright, water everywhere. What's up? Pull it quick. Yep. God that's <laughs> is it a wee bit? I can't do it. Grab this up, please. I tried. I tried. It's only green because the water's low. Yeah, it's exactly right. Oh, stupid. We're not here to judge. <laughs> I was just saying, I was well, thinking that being about it. We don't really need it. It's about 200 <laughs> degrees, roughly. <laughs> it, it, I don't know. It is a wee bit steamy. I'll let you know how red my hand is in the morning. <laughs> Well, all we could offer these boys was pretzels, so I guess we're getting back on the road. Hey, I'll tell you what, that was the best thing they done. <laughs> Y'all are doing excellent. If your problem was bigger, we would have offered you hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Because oh, wow. <laughs> we have a grill and we have a coffee maker in the truck. <laughs> so we just have to make sure we leave the track before you guys do. Yeah. So if we break down. Exactly. That's right. It's a good plan. Thumbs up on sick week means we're good. You don't have to stop instead of we need a ride, yes. which is pretty great. We ain't hitchhiking. <laughs> you are. This car looks familiar. <laughs> this dude and we've been talking to him he's from Canada and he has overcome so much to be here he said when he was a kid he would look at Hot Rod magazine and then he said when drag week started he was like it's been 17 years since this has been on my bucket list to do and he said he's had problem after problem with this car and actually making it happen to be here but it's just wild what people go through to make this happen I think so many people at home think, man, these people are so lucky to be able to do this, but it's not an easy thing to do. And I think until you actually come to try and do these events, these drag and drive events, like you don't get how hard it is and how much persistence you have to have not taking no for an answer to actually make it happen. So this dude has an incredible story. Maybe I can catch up with him later today and show you guys the car. It's really quite unique and awesome. And I'm so proud of him for being here. And he brought his 13 year old son too. So super, super cool. And the Ute is awesome. So time to load the truck and head to the track. Let's see if what we have will work.
little cold start action here. <clears throat> now, we don't have the um, emergency brake operational on this rig, and I think we're in an incline, so I don't want it to roll away because <laughs> we still need to do a little bit of loading. <clears throat> we'll see. That's the wrong key. Not the door key that I need. I need the crank up key. Man, she starts so nice in the morning. Two pumps, boom. I don't want today to be the last day that we're doing the event. So it's Wednesday morning, and this event goes until I believe Friday or Saturday, but <clears throat> Aaron and I have to head home because on Saturday we're heading to Galveston to go on a family cruise with my family. So um, I mentioned that in a prior video, my sister and niece, um, the kid, Aliyah, they're getting to go and they're so excited. So um, it's gonna be a fun time. So we're excited about that, but also sad to leave. So today's gonna be the last day. I'm gonna get a lot done today though. I wanna shoot at least one State of the Build episode for the Peak channel, that series that I produced for them over on their channel. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a really, really fun video series that we started in 2020, the year of COVID, um, where I essentially interview other content creators on their builds. So the series is called State of the Build, and I just check in with my friends and fellow content creators and YouTubers that you guys probably also watch. And uh, it's a really fun series. So I'm going to try and shoot today with Cooper Bogetti and um, Kevin from KSR Speed. I've got both those dudes queued up and they're like, heck yeah, let's do it. So um, hopefully I can get both of those guys, um, you know, walk around to their car, a rundown of how they're, um, you know, running this week. And that would be really awesome. So go subscribe to the Peak channel to see those episodes. Hopefully I get two of them, at least one of them, today. And other than that, it's gonna be just helping people if we can um, fix stuff, provide parts, tools, stuff, whatever, and cooking hot dogs. That's gonna be fun. We really wanna do more of that, so. Okay. I think it might be time to go. Instagram to do a quick story and I saw a post that said Alex has already run a 640 something at like 206 this morning. One and done for her. So they're probably already packed at out. The stop sign. Turn <laughs> <laughs> he was happy. Oh my God, I love him. How freaking cute. So we meet all these drag racers and these are callous people. I mean these are hardcore dudes and they meet me and they're like, hey man, what's up? Emily and they're like, hi, <laughs> and breaks out the inner kid in them. It's so funny just to see like a grown man tripping over himself and, and giggling and smiling. It's awesome. I love it. Dang, it's busy here today. It's heavy. You know it's a good day when we're rolling in and racers are already on the road. <laughs> yeah. I mean the track is working. Yeah. Love that. Or it means we slept in again. <laughs> oh well. We've been getting all disease. Yeah. All disease. Compared to these folks. Yes. We're not getting eight hours, we're getting five or six, but yeah. these people are sleeping an hour. I'm not even sure why they get hotels. Just to take a shower, I guess. Right. Looking at some of these dudes, they're not even doing that. <laughs> yeah, it's a big bump. How are you? Doing great, thank you. I will go to the rest of the day and meet you here for a reason.
So we've barely just pulled into the venue and these amazing folks come up to us and she's got the sweetest, most amazing smile. And I'm like, I bet y'all watch our videos. They feel like family to us. Well, guess what? They gave us titles and these titles are really special because they are gonna allow us to use our Bugatti and get it legal. So um, that Volkswagen chassis that doesn't have a bend, it does now. How cool is that? Thank y'all. So great. So sweet. The car community is the best. Yes. And we are together and I decided we're going in. So what made you bring Garfield? Dude, that's a great question. So Garfield the truck is our 69C20 and it has a tool bed on it. And when we built it, we did Hot Rod Power Tour, which is a seven day, seven city road trip with This bug is so ridiculous. talking to Tom for like 20 minutes catching up about future plans of events that he's planning and he's just always got so much amazing stuff going on and um, I'm so thankful you had us. Thank I'm just you. glad you guys came. <laughs> this has been awesome. Uh, this I forced been... you to fix your truck. He right? did. You so. did. You absolutely you called us and I was like well it's broken. And you're like that's what you do is fix stuff. Eh, okay. I'm so glad. Too. And they are too because everybody had been wanting to see Garfield again. So um, we're so excited about this event and so excited that Peak was involved and Summit and all the awesome companies that jumped on board to support this. Like the sick board thing is so cool. Yeah, it's pretty um, it was cool. a blast. Like everybody like yeah, and everybody getting the food over there and like just having a good time. And it's like it's yeah. all the all the good stuff of the event without having to go down the track. So, so. do the sick board people get free food every day? Yeah, they get snacks and beverages and everything over there. And then there's two days a week where they get lunch tokens that they turn that in or whatever for barbecue. It was barbecue or seafood yesterday. Okay. And then tomorrow at Gainesville, they got another free free Perfect. lunch day. So. We brought hot dogs and we had the grill on the side of the truck and we were just making our own food. So we gotcha. never utilized that portion, but I saw people doing that. And yeah, you it's so out. cool that y'all offer out, that. So. so great. Thank you, Tom. Yep, thank you for coming. All right, Adam made it. He's in the staging lanes now. He said he used the stuff and it's set up nicely for him, so that's awesome. And Mr. Barry's about to make a pass too. Yay! Looks like Heidi's about to run in the Monte Baro. Garage, 1225 and 96 miles an hour for the Monte Carlo. Okay, so our girl Heidi. She did a lot better on that last I test. I did so much better. Tell oh me my you god. So in the past two days, I think I've actually gone down three, three seconds. Well, technically two. We'll say two. Two seconds in three days. That's amazing. Yeah. So I did a fourteen and eight, eight, six. So I'm stoked. This morning you were like, as long as I run faster than a six. I know, I know. And now tomorrow needs to be a thirteen. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I know, I know. You know what? Derek, aren't we proud of her? Huge impressive. 
All right, the berry camp is loading up. They've made their pass for the day. Actually, Heidi is lined back up. She made a pass, she got into the 15s, but she wasn't happy with it, totally. So um, she's going to do another pass, but they're loading up Vanishing Paint and they'll be on the road soon. And uh, I think we're gonna kind of wait for a while at the track because tomorrow we're going home. So we're gonna stay at the track for a while to see if anybody needs help. Um, but all of our friends are gonna leave and go to the next location. I just got a text message from the guy Adam that we met this morning in the parking lot that parked next to Garfield with the 55 and he made a personal best pass today so I'm going to go try to find him in the pits. Everybody's loading up. Aww. There's still some folks that are out there making passes though. I'm just playing here by his car with him. These guys are bomb. They, uh, they're from Texas, local to us. and. They're just such good dudes. John Dodson and Jason Dozier, and they build some insanely fast stuff. Oh, they're so amazing. I love them. Well, y'all, <laughs> I'm wrapping this episode here. We just pulled up to a yummy place called the Salty Snapper. I assume it's gonna be yummy. I, I bet like it will salt. be. And I, I like, I like snapper. snapper, fish, yum. It was such a great end of the day. It was such a great, event for us and we didn't even finish it like it was such a fun time totally different experience being in the sick ward instead of racing and we wouldn't have changed it it was so awesome hope you guys enjoyed this series like we did and huge props to dale for thrashing on the edit i was not up all night every night editing for y'all and that is all thanks to him editing for us so mad thanks to dale and uh We'll look forward to seeing you guys on the next adventure.